Well, the, the drive that your Elon Musk and your Jeff Be- Bezos have, it's for that undiscovered, that next frontier, you know, the, the thing that hasn't happened yet. I mean, do you think we will be able to get a, a human on Mars anytime within, you know, my child's lifetime? This is the first time in history that we have actually built a technology that gives us another choice. And it's still early and it seems crazy and fanciful, sort of like sailing the Atlantic in 1492. Or, or, or whatever, or trying to fly an airplane in 1903. Seems crazy. Or getting to the South Pole in 1911. But once you've done something and got the technology good enough, suddenly everyone's like, well, of course we did that. Why wouldn't we? That's, that's the natural way of things. And so I think what drives those two particular men, Jeff thinks that Earth and Moon should be part of one combined economic system. And so we should have permanent settlements on the Moon, robotic and, and eventually people, to take advantage of the mineral wealth that exists there, but also maybe to do processing there that we don't want to do on the surface of the earth because the moon has no life and the moon has no atmosphere. So you can do stuff. And then Elon is even looking further out and going, hey, uh, Mars has water. Mars has more heat. Mars is, it's not easy to live there, but it's easier than the moon. But it's still a long ways away where our rockets aren't good enough yet. But both of them have those as their long-term objectives. And when I was born, nobody had flown in space. Spaceflight is younger than I am. And yet we've had people living on the space station continuously from 15 different countries for the past 20 and a half years. You know, it's it suddenly become absolutely normal that humanity doesn't all live on Earth. And that, you know, when I was born, no one had flown in space. This is happening fast. And so to say, do you think it's even possible that we could have people on Mars? Well, of course it is. It's just a matter of, are our rocket ships good enough yet? And do we have the, the various technologies that, that allow us to live in those places yet? And can we make it safe enough so it becomes cheap enough so it becomes a viable choice, just like you know, all the other choices we make? It just seems crazy because it's still so new and it's outside of the norm. Um, but but you know, I, I have personal experience to show that it's possible. And, and in amongst everything else, I think it's one of the things that, that we should be putting some of our lucre towards in order to uh, to make that part of, of humans, humanity's future. 